OK, let's take a check on what's grabbing the headlines here in France today with Flo Villamino. Hi there. Hi and, uh, yeah, big uh, subject of conversation today is what's happening with the euro. Uh, French papers keeping a close eye. That's right. It's pretty worrying, or is it good news? That's what uh, French papers are taking a close look at today. Lizzie Coop points out that this is really a historic drop uh, compared to the dollar. The euro has slipped to a nine-year low against uh, the dollar. So what is this drop hiding? What's going on behind the scenes? Well, Lizeku focuses particularly on reports coming from the German press uh, that Chancellor uh, Angela Merkel could be willing to accept a Greek exit, or a Grexit, as they're calling it in the press. I don't like that word. I can't I can't it. It's hard to pronounce. <laughs> well, if this Greg, well, she would accept this Grexit, uh, should a leftist government be elected in Athens in upcoming Election, mm -hmm. elections and should it demand concessions. So a lot of hypotheticals yeah, it's going on. a lot on of here. might be the Absolutely. Case, yeah. But it's already stoked mm. fears. Uh, investors were already worried about dropping oil prices. Now this news. So that's why we're seeing this drop in the euro. But is it a good thing? Lizeku, business papers, seems to think it is. It's a little brush of fresh air, according to Lizeku. It's not going to fix all the EU's problems, but it could boost exports a little, and that's never a bad thing. Yes, and I suppose uh, anyone coming into the Eurozone from abroad on holiday is going to find it a little bit cheaper, that kind of thing. Not so good for us going abroad, though. Uh, moving on uh, to all the papers that aren't very thrilled about this. That's right. Well, uh, Le Figaro is quite worried, says that what we could be seeing here is the beginning of a major uh, Euro crisis. What you're seeing here is the front page of uh, Le Figaro, and it says that Greece is actually going to rekindle this uh, Euro crisis. Once again, Greece is on its way to poisoning uh, the rest of Europe. Uh, and Le Figaro is very worried about the upcoming uh, elections in uh, Greece. They're scheduled for uh, January 25th. Of course, the far-left uh, party Syriza, led by Alexis uh, Tsipras, he's expected to win. And this is what Le Figaro is worried about. Le Figaro says that once this party comes to power, they're going to cancel Greek debt. Uh, and on top of that, in its editorial, Le Figaro says this, these are ideas that could spread to the rest of Europe, particularly Spain. Mm -hmm. This unbridled populist idea could spread across Europe. Now, L'Humanité, the communist paper, is a lot calmer than Le Figaro. It's actually quite critical of such fear-mongering, tries to take a look at the facts. And here's what you can see on the front page. What is Syriza really offering to get out of austerity. Because they have changed their position a little bit in recent Ab weeks, haven't they? Absolutely. It is a little confusing, but mm. uh, L'Humanité tries to clear things up, points out that the program is quite a radical break from mm. current austerity measures, but the party in no way wants to leave the Eurozone, and uh, certainly it's not going to cancel Greek debt. Okay, so uh, really unclear what is exactly going to happen, of course. Um, papers are also looking at uncertainties for the French economy as well. Um, comments that President François Hollande made yesterday. That's right. Hollande started uh, the new year with an unprecedented two-hour interview <clears throat> on a public uh, radio station here in France, France Inter. Now, he says that he takes responsibility for rising unemployment figures. Lots of papers say that all this is really just a charm offensive to improve his popularity and to rally support for a string of economic reforms that he wants to boost the French economy with. Now, this is the pro business Lupignon paper, they're really not impressed. They point out that everywhere in Europe, unemployment is dropping except for here in France. Mm -hmm. uh, and they accuse the president of lacking political courage. Now, Le Figaro, unsurprisingly, the right-leaning paper, is also phys critical of uh, the president uh, and says that, sure, he's taking responsibility for his failure, but actually, he's not really that sorry. OK, and we're going to stick with uh, François Hollande. A few more troubles for him, unfortunately, this time concerning his private life, um, his ex-partner. That's right, Valérie Trierweiler. We hadn't heard about her yet in 2015. Yeah. <laughs> well, now she's on Here the front she page of Le Parisien after the book, <clears throat> the movie, because, of course, 2014 was marked by the very public breakup between François Hollande and Valérie Trierweiler. She got her sweet revenge by publishing a best-selling book. It was the best-selling book for 2014 here in France. The story is called Thank You for This Moment. Uh, and now Le Parisien says that it's going to be made into a film. Uh, this, it would be directed by a friend of hers, Saïda Jawad. Uh, she's still 
Uh, it's just a project for now, but it's going to make a lot of noise. She says that it won't be released until after the 2017 presidential election, but it's a source of concern for the Elysee Palace. And I love this cartoon in Aujourd'hui en France. François Hollande recently got a dog, the, a Labrador named Filae. Here he is talking to Filae. If I catch you with a pen and paper, I'm kicking you out immediately. Goodness me, we have to change that famous saying, don't get mad, get a movie <laughs> or a best-selling book. Thanks very much for now, Florence Villeminot.